Welcome back to Maths with Mrs J. Yes, I have upgraded technology and now I have an interactive whiteboard. We're going to start talking about logarithmic functions. By the time you get to around about year nine-ish, you should be fairly familiar with index notation, a to the x equals y. The a is your base, the x is your index, and the y is your power. The equivalent logarithmic way of writing that is that x equals log of y to base a. Now, the x is actually your index, here is your base, and here is your power. Let's just do some examples going from index notation to logarithmic notation and back. Just to get ourselves used to it, it does seem a little bit strange at the start, but once you get used to it, it's really not that hard at all. By the way, the main logs that we work with are log to base 10 of something, because that's on our calculator, and also that's used in a lot of things like um, decibels, like the uh, Richter scale for earthquakes and things like that. And also log to base E is used a lot. We often write that as natural log. E is a very special number that I've mentioned before. It is a, an irrational number. It's a transcendental number, in fact. And it's very special in maths for a whole heap of reasons. We also have a key on your, our calculator that will calculate that as well. Let's just do some basic examples just to get ourselves used to going back and forth from index notation to log notation. All right, we know that two cubed is eight. Why do we know that? Well, two cubed means two times two times two. That is equivalent to saying what? Well, the index, three, is the log of our power, which is eight, to base two. Or you could write log of eight to base two as three. It doesn't matter which way around you write it. Let's do another example. We're quite comfortable saying that 10 squared is 100. 10 squared means 10 times 10, of course. So the way of writing that in a logarithmic version is to say that 2, which is our index, is log of 100 to base 10. Quite often, if it's to base 10, we don't even bother writing the base. So if there's no base written, we assume it's base 10. Let's go back the other way. Let's do two examples of that. So say I said log of 1,000 to base 10 is 3. What's that equivalent to in index notation? Well, of course, 10 to the 3 is 1,000, is the equivalent index version of that. And another example would be something like log of 16 to base 2 is 4, is equivalent to saying 2 raised to the 4 is 16. 